Good morning, CHS. My name is Igoso Conte, your CHS anchor. Welcome to our very first CHS announcements. The announcements are produced by your CHS Audio Video Club. There will be one more announcement before the end of the semester, then we'll be back in the fall doing an even better job. Let's get started. Recently, as we were preparing to put a few faces to our morning announcements, one of our reporters stopped by our principal, Joda Murphy's office, to ask how she felt about the new CHS video announcements. Let's see what she had to say. Adrian. Good morning, guys. I'm here with our principal, Ms. Joda Murphy, and I wanted to ask you some questions about our audio video club. Um, what do you think about having the video announcements? I was really excited uh, when I heard that we're going to have video announcements at the school because I think it's a great way um, for everyone in the school to hear what's going on in the school and to pay attention to the daily announcements and to take a lot of pride in our school as they see and hear all of the different things that are going on. Um, what are your ex expectations or like your hopes for this? Like these video announcements? Um, my hope is that, um, I, I, heard, I heard that that you eventually want to come to having um, the announcements read on a daily basis. And so that would be my biggest hope and that people can, can see other students' achievements and accomplishments and, and they can take pride in the school uh, as they see all the wonderful things that are going on and you can showcase those. Yeah. And is there anything like in specific that you want to like, um, you like to see like happen or like come out with everything? Um, my number one thing that I would like to see come out of it is that students are really paying attention to what's going on um, so that they can hear about upcoming events like any college going activities or testing or, or, or things that, that we want them to be aware of. Um, and the other thing that I really hope to come out of just is that sense of knowing what's going on at that school and and being inspired by other people's achievements and accomplishments so that other students can can see like hey that person did this so i can do that too yeah and the last question i have for you is how often would you like to see it happen oh i i would i like if you could do this every day i think that would be a great thing for the for all of the, the student body and the staff to tune into but i understand that things start slowly as we get get used to this so anything we do i think is is exciting to move forward Thank you, Ms. Murphy, and we hope you have a great rest of the school year and a great rest of your day. Thank you, and thank you, uh, thank you to the students of the club who are doing this, and I want to thank Mr. Ingram for, for putting this all together and for getting this going. Go Yellow Jackets! Thanks, Adrian. Next, for what's happening in sports, let's hear from Yvonne and Mateo. Are you interested in playing sports next school year, like running cross country, playing football, volleyball, basketball, or cheering? The fall sports season start in August, which means that training either has started or is starting soon. Do you like running long distance? Consider joining the cross country team. There is a mandatory meeting for all those interested on May 22nd in the Mac gym from 2.30 to 3.15. Check out their Instagram or Facebook page for more information. Have you heard about football? We have an entirely new coaching staff who are excited to start the new program. Training is happening now. Head over to the football field after school or talk to a manager for more information. Our football team was excited to start off the spring season with 7 on 7s versus Hillcrest High School. Thanks, Ivana Mateo. We look forward to part two in your next report. It's time for one of our favorites, Killing the Rumors. Hey everyone, so today we're here to tell you the truth. Starting with the library. We've been hearing that supposedly the district is going to remodel the library. And it's true, the school won a $40,000 grant from the district to upgrade to the 21st century. The completion will be done next year in late fall, so stay tuned for more information. Everyone has been saying that Miss Murphy cut off our passing period, but in reality, the one minute bell is now a two minute bell. So it's still a seven minute passing period. We will continue to keep you updated, so stay tuned for more information. Bye. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> CHS, quick news. This is it. Yearbooks are here. Bring your receipt to room 505A to pick up your 2019 Crimson and Gold yearbook. Attention, seniors. The car list is posted on the bulletin board by the security office, the band room, and behind the library. Please take a look and see 
the staff member listed there in order to clear your holds. If your ID number appears there, you will not be able to participate in any senior activities, including graduation. Attention all seniors. As part of the checkout procedure for this year, and in order to enjoy all the graduation activities, you must fill out the senior survey uh, by following the link on screen. Attention all seniors. Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019 is the last day to return library and textbooks to be cleared off the library textbook car list. That's all for us this week. Let us know what you think and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.